We're gonna start off with Alex Simon. Hi, Sandy. I know we've spent all week kind of focusing on the couple of players, obviously of one coming back in particular, but BG, obviously you were a little concerned about her ankle when it came last week. Do you kind of feel as if that's improved pretty significantly? I'm sure she's going to play today, but kind of where do you feel like she's at at this point? I think you're muted, Sandy. I'm back, boy. I'm mute. Okay, thanks, Alex. Um, no problem. No, you know, obviously, I think everyone's having a little, uh, all beaten up a little bit, but like BG's ankle's uh, way better than it was in the first game in LA, put it that way. So she's worked really hard. Um, so she's she's 100% ready to go. I guess I should should ask just to be sure if your starting lineup is going to reflect the player that is returning from injury going back into the starting lineup, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that's going to happen. <laughs> Um, and just one quick other health question about Bria. At this point, do you kind of think it's fair to say that she wouldn't, there's not really a chance for her to return before the Olympics for you guys? Yeah, look, I think, you know, she's working really hard. She's making good progress, even the, you know, the last month in particular. But, um, you know, we've only got six games to go, so it's probably worthwhile just us to try and, you know, use the Olympic break to hopefully uh, get her back to, on the court after that. All right, we're going to go to Jeff Metcalf with the Arizona Republic. Apparently, Tolliver is out today, too. How does that change things, um, you know, to not only take your ability out of there, but even make them, um, you know, have less depth? Yeah, I mean, obviously, they're, they're one of the teams that's beaten up um, at the moment. And, and Christy had, had a lot of um, stitches last game. She got hit in the head. Um, but look, I think, you know, it's still dangerous that Cooper had 26 in the last game. You saw Carly Samuelson came in and, and did her part. So we've got to make sure that we there's no complacency because um, they still got the players that they do have are still obviously very aggressive. And, you know, in these situations, it gives other people the uh, opportunity to step up. And, you know, all week, you know, our most important thing is that we got to focus on ourselves. Um, we got to make sure they're playing with that sense of urgency. Uh, on the defensive end and then and, and just you know make until we get in great shots with a good inside outside attack so um you know really focus on us but obviously we have to show respect for our opponent and uh take care of take care of our business tonight i wanted to ask you to um yesterday at the end of the sun's game Monty Williams kept fouling uh, and not letting him get off three-point shots. And I know we've talked about this with you uh, philosophically a little bit. What, what did you think about how they executed that? And um, is there a difference at all in the men's and women's game in, in deciding what to do in that situation? Yeah, look, um, I actually didn't watch the game last night. I followed it play by play. My son was uh, had a tournament, so I don't get to watch him very often. So I chose to do that last night. Um, but yeah, I did hear about that, you know, just going at the foul. And it's always, for me, it's, you know, it, it's a smart decision in that regard. And obviously the NBA use it way more than, um, you know, in the women's game in the WNBA. Um, so it's more about how you feel like you're rebounding in that game. You know, that, that's all I think about. You know, it's more like, uh, are we, are we going to secure the rebound here and, and, you know, let's foul them and, and give them a two over a three? Um, they're always decisions that we have discussions about. Um, I suppose we played a little bit more conservative, but, um, you know, it's, a, it's I think it's a great strategy uh, if, you, if you feel you know you're going to finish plays well. Sorry, we're going to finish up with one more question from Alex. Yeah, Sandy, just one quick follow. When you play a game against LA like this and you know that it's the decider between the playoff tiebreaker, especially when the standings are so tight, I mean, fourth to 11th could almost be the flip of a good week. Is that something you guys emphasize? Like, hey, we know this is going to matter for positioning, or do you think the players don't really need it and they kind of know it? themselves yeah they, they should know it you know I try not it's more about like I said I just it focus on we just need to, to to play well you know you know be consistent for those 40 minutes and you know obviously we highlight it it, it is an important game but every game is important regardless of the head-to-head -head. so uh, you know we just want to make sure we come out we've had eight days off now um, and have a good showing in front of our home crowd we haven't done that so that's really our motivation for today thank you for the time Sandy thanks guys